drawing holograms by hand, in mid-1994 I started drawing much more complicated holograms than before. This one's my first fully 3D object, a tilted plane, like a little checkerboard that actually tilts downwards in space. And here's my first fully 3D complicated object, a cube with crosshatch lines drawn on its surface. This little tetrahedron is the first object I drew where the lines come through the film plane and stick out into space. So the tip of the little pyramid goes right through the plastic. Here's the first object I drew that's opaque. A black square with the letter B hidden behind it. Later on I made a transparent hole in an opaque plane with the numbers 1, 2, 3 peeking through. Here's a curved surface of a cylinder made with trig function, square root of r squared minus x squared. Let's get a close up. And the little line above it I just drew freehand like the like firecracker with a fuse. Here's a square hole made of stars with a flashing triangle. The inner part of the triangle turns on and off as I rotate it. If you experiment with hand-drawn holograms, you'll find they look much more realistic if you lay them on the ground in the sun and then move your head. Don't tilt the plane itself. Tilt your viewing uh, position. And if I turn it upside down, we get a pseudoscopic image, inside-out cube that floats in space above the plastic. This cube has a point that sticks through the plastic, and it also has my first full word, secret message. This is a test um, 4000 DPI copper etched plate to see what kinds of resolution I could get. A bunch of letter A's and some radial stripes. Some of them stick up and some of them are slots. And I found it works much better if you give it a a coat of glossy black spray paint. It fills in all of the um, rough surfaces and makes them shiny.